Yo, do you want to bond natives and terminate natural beauty? Well, as an Apple representative to the poor, sad planet of whatever the fuck this is, you can mass produce uh, bombs, cars, trains, and guns. All things that Apple definitely makes. You can be this and more in Factorium. <laughs> In Factorio, you as an Apple representative crash land on a planet while trying to set up a store for the Apple Fork. Our Apple rep doesn't have a name, so I'll call him Linus. Linus, like any American, spawns with a Glock and several clips of ammo to fight off the local terrorists, as well as a burner drill and inserter. Inserters take things from one spot to another, drills and furnaces mine and cook stuff respectively. Now Linus can process iron ore into iron plates. But this sucks ass! Why? Well, these require coal, which is bullshit, so we're gonna use these better regular inserters and they don't work. Most things in Factorio besides Ooga Booga Caveman tier components require electricity. In the beginning, our ability to acquire this is quite limited. All we have are these steam engines. Since they need water to make steam, we steal from the lake, put it in a boiler, connect the steam engine to the boiler, and put coal in the boiler. That's it. We've pretty much beat the game. Oh fuck! As you may have noticed, we can basically make nothing. That's because Factorio's progression is entirely based in research. That being, when you start a game, you can't immediately spawn a spider death bot that can literally fire missiles and make Hiroshima look like child's play. In order to be an immoral dipshit, Linus must power and put science packets in labs. There are multiple types of research materials that vary in levels of questionability from water in Flint, Michigan to cum jar. However, Linus has erectile dysfunction in order for <laughs> However, Linus has erectile dysfunction. In order to overcome this, we must research to detect tree to unlock more dubious liquids. As you progress, you go from red to green to gray to blue to purple to yellow science with each packet becoming progressively harder to make. As you research, you unlock more and more technology, such as trains. Trains, they're cool. These patches of raw materials at the beginning of the game don't last forever, so you must expand, and trains are a great way to do that. As for why you would ever need 9 million iron ore, well why don't you mind your own fucking business? Don't ask me how to use trains though, uh, because I have no clue. Uh, but speaking of expansion... Since you must expand endlessly, you will eventually run into the local inhabitants. They hate pollution and get in the way of progress. As soon as they start to smell the glorious smoke of industry, they'll start to ferociously tear and eat everything that you work so hard for. Additionally, just like real life, the pollution gives them genetic defects that will make them infinitely stronger. Oh, what the fuck? Why? <laughs> get away, get away, you, 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 what the fuck is that? What the fuck? He's so <laughs> for this, I have the Bug Obliterator. Trademark. All you need to do is feed it bullets and... You no longer have to be an ethical company. For this reason, I also plan to sell it to Amazon. For the most part, I wouldn't recommend touching the aliens until they fuck with you, or you fuck with them. Okay, yes, but why do you need all these materials? And that would be because everything requires so much iron. Holy shit, what the fuck? See, at higher levels, everything requires something else to craft. For this reason, you will steal copper, stone, and roleplay as in the United States. Holy shit, is that oil? For example, let's say I want to make red chips. For this, I need green chips, wire, and plastic. Plastic is simple enough, coal plus oil. Wire is just copper, and green chips are wire plus iron. For one single red chip, I use five copper, two iron, coal, and petroleum. In total, I used 9 items to make 1 red chip, which is only 1 part of blue chips which are used in other things. Basically, you must expand so that you can refine large amounts of base resources into smaller amounts of unique materials. Also, at this point you may notice the game isn't really about making things, but moving them around. As your base of resources becomes less and less centralized, you start importing more and more, as well as removing inefficiencies. I've already told you about trains, which are objectively the best way to move things around, but there are also transport belts and robots. Transport belts are the base of any good factory, and take increasingly larger and larger percentages of your brain power as time goes on. 
How the fuck do I? Robots are for people who've given up and don't give a shit. Damn son, these bitches want some. Hey Freddy, can I um? No bitch, you fucking don't. I don't care what the purists say. Factorio is best played with friends. While you definitely don't need to, I personally like the game far more when I play with friends. And if you have the game already, I highly recommend playing it with others. Anyway, other game modes. Transport Belt Madness is both great and shit. If you like the feeling of an aneurysm, highly recommend it. If you value your, your mental health, uh, however, recommend skipping this one. What the? Uh, uh, no, why? Why? No, why is it? Why is it eight? Why? Why is it eight? No. Tight spot. So you know how like Factorio is uh, is a good game. Now, what if we uh, change that by uh, introducing money, uh, and you had to buy land? That's right, shit game mode. Uh, wave defense is very fun, also very stressful. Not much besides killing waves of aliens. What? They eat trees? Why the fuck do they eat trees? Since when did they eat trees? Supply challenge is just a better tight spot because no money. Uh, PvP is great, uh, but you need friends. If you have those, ask plus to your game mode. Skipping over team production because it sucks. Sandbox is Factoria without the fun. Wow. Wow, there's so much challenge. How fun. What a great game mode. I love being God. Rocket Rush, you know how to make everything? I just needed to build a rocket. Speaking of rockets, the game ends after you make your first, and finally leave after making your Apple Fork Factory. But you're never really done, because the factory must grow. Subscribe, thank you, goodbye.